Hello everybody, Little Simmer here, and I am back with another speed build in The Sims 4. I have been so obsessed with The Sims 4, and I'm actually really excited because uh, yesterday I ordered a new microphone so I can do my voiceovers. Um, in the last couple of my speed builds, I've just put music over them, and I know I usually hate it when people do that. You know, I usually like to, you know, um, hear talking, but I know that there is a lot of, like, hissing and background noise and stuff because all I'm using is, like, a, all I'm using is, like, a cheap Turtle Beach headset, and the mic on it isn't that great. But anyway, this house is called, I think it's just called Tiny Home or something like that. It's just a tiny home, and, um... I've been doing a lot of, like, different types of, like, speed build because I've been obsessed with The Sims 4. Like, I probably- I know I've probably already- I've probably said this a million times, but, like, The Sims 4 runs so much better on my computer. And, like, I have such a, you know, better time with it. And, you know, but anyway. <laughs> Here we are, we're working on the roof right now as I'm watching this, and you probably already noticed that I had a little bit of trouble with it. I was going off of a picture that I found on Google, and it was a really pretty, like, like, it was like a really pretty yellow house, and I, like, I, I followed the floor plan as best as I could, and the roof looked, um, had like three different peaks on it, and I don't know if you guys, like, noticed, but you can't really do that in The Sims 4. Like, you can do that in The Sims 3. Like, it's really weird because in The Sims 3, you know how there's, like, houses that have, like, two peaks beside each other and they, like, overlap each other and it looks really pretty? Um, that's what it kind of had going for it in the picture. And I tried doing it in The Sims 4, like, in, in, this, in The Sims 4, but I couldn't do it. And then I tried making, like, we're working on the roof still, and there is, like, I was trying to fill that space up a little bit. And then I found that. I don't know what that's called, but it's the, the exact thing I was, look, I was trying to do. And they just have them pre-built. I was like, what? Excuse me? <laughs> um, but anyway. <laughs> um, it just amazes me how, like... A few years ago, I was, like, dead set on never, ever buying The Sims 4, ever. Because, like, for some reason I thought that because it was too cartoony and I was obsessed with how The Sims 3 looked, like, more realistic and stuff. But, like, come on, man. It is the, the, I don't, I honestly prefer the cartoony stuff over it, like... It's just, it runs so much better on my computer, and I love it so much, and I'm obsessed with it, and so I probably won't be making any more Sims 3 houses. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. But I am just obsessed with The Sims 4, and so that's that. Um, I think my next speed build, I think I'm going to try to do like a base game starter home. That's going to be really hard, because I really love... The cats and dogs pack and last night I recently bought the laundry day stuff pack and it's, I've I've been on a pack buying binge like I want to get all of the stuff packs and all of the expansion packs anyway let's talk about the house a little bit um we're working on the inside now like I said I tried going off the floor plan as best as I could because you know it was that's what I used to do in The Sims 3. I used to, like, go off of actual floor plans and just, you know, tweak them up a little bit. And that's what I kind of did here. Um, I make that little room that I just did at the, the kitchen. The kitchen is very small. Um, by the time I upload this, I hope that the gallery, like, accepts it and stuff. Because it's in the process of um, being, you know, accepted on the gallery. Um, when I was building in The Sims 3... I tried um, uploading things onto The Sims resource, and it was just taking so long, and, um, and so I used Mega for all of my Sims 3 stuff, and I am so, like, 
glad that the gallery exists. Like, it's so useful. Like, I don't have to, you know, download them on a, or upload them on a weird website that's sketchy and I can just upload it on the, on the actual game. And I just think that is so neat. Like, why didn't I ever play this game before? Like, why didn't I ever build in this game before? Um, anyway, my mouth is starting to hurt because I'm, like, laughing and smiling a lot. I just take a drink real quick. And, um, but yeah, I ordered a new microphone. And, and so my next speed build, or whatever build that I do, whatever I do next, um, the audio will sound a lot better. I can't remember what the name of the, the microphone is called, but it has like a, what do they call that? A sleeve that goes over the microphone part and it has like a, it has all the, equipment to make the noise around it like and honestly i don't know where the hissing comes from like because i don't have a fan on and i close my window in my office just so i can you know do this um but we have some time to kill talk about some random stuff um i think this video this when i sped that it, when i sped this up it's like 25 ish minutes long um and I might leave you guys in the middle of it and leave you guys with a little bit of music, but I'll try to talk as much as I can. Um, also, those pill what are those things called? You know those the the pillars and the white things that are like that like kind of trim the porch, like the top of the porch. I don't know what those are called, but they're so pretty, and I'm so glad they exist. Just little details like that that I love so much. And excuse me, I'm gonna. I don't know if I, I really hope that I don't burp this full speed this this whole time. But um yeah, you see the door is on like the side pop out thing. That's where the door is in the picture and I changed that later. Like it looks so weird. And like I was trying to figure out what to do with the the inside where that is because I make that inside of it the dining room. And it was just it, it looked really weird and I couldn't decorate it right because the door was in the way, and so I guess um, I move that light over a little bit, and then I put the door right there, and that looks so much better. Um, I spend a lot of time outside. This was this was meant to be a starter home, but like, and I was trying to make it as cheap as possible, but like, of course, that little infinite sign down there. I don't know how much the the house came up to be um i couldn't tell you <laughs> um but yeah and the intros that i've been using um the intro that that i had before um somebody made it for me like a long time ago and like i liked it a lot but um i just it looked like out of date and stuff and so I and I wanted to make my own and so I had this idea of just like and I'm not the only person that does this I know like a, a, I know a lot of different like simmers that do these types of intros where they just take a little video of like the house and they have like their name and the the name of the house pop up and then that's the intro I think I'm gonna do that from now on with my speed builds because, like, I recently um, purchased Wondershare, just, like, the year the yearly subscription thing. And, like, honestly, I'm obsessed with it. Like, I use Shotcut to speed up my stuff and then to put all of it together. Because they have really good, like, transitions and stuff. But, um... But, yeah. <laughs> I'm working on the, um the uh the, the garden area right now and i started putting rocks to line the pathway and i just thought that it looked it looked weird because the rocks were like the same shade as the the pavement you see what i mean and so i take the pavement away and i put like i don't know if it's sand i don't know i i never i never look at the name of the pavement that i use but you'll see here in a second, I'm gonna like, 
I'm like, yeah, because right now I'm like looking at it. I'm like, that looks really weird. I really want to change it. I'm pretty sure after we put these lights down, <laughs> I'm like, wait, this does, this looks dumb. Like, let me change it. Uh, come on. There we go. You see, we're taking, I'm trying to find different stuff. It's that stuff that I use. So I erase it and then I put that stuff. Is that sand? Dirt? I don't know what, I don't know what it is, but I think it looks a lot better because I was trying to make it match the pavement but like in the sims 3 they have like so they have a lot better pavements in the sims 3 but that's about the only thing they have that's better than the sims 4 like the sims 4 that doesn't have very good pavements and it's weird because like i don't know if like that's a draw like that pavement that's there that we're looking at right now um like, where do I get that? Like, I was trying, I was looking for that stuff, but I couldn't find it. Maybe it's in the debug menu. I don't know. <laughs> um, another thing that I find really frustrating is that if you get stuff out of the debug menu, um, you can't recolor it. Like, you, it, it just comes in the color, and you can't change it. And you also can't, like, duplicate it. Like, you can't copy it. And so if you need more than one of the item, if you need more than one of the of the, of the the item that you're looking at, that, that, that you found, wow. <laughs> um, and you don't realize that you need another one until, like, later, you're like, wow, I wish I could just copy it. You can't. You have to go through the whole debug menu again, which I think is really dumb. Like, <laughs> but I was just trying to fill this area up. Um... I always have problems with this area when I make like um like a little fence and the area leading to the fence. I've been trying to like work on it and then I found these the path things. They're the rock path things. I don't know what they're called, but I, they are really nice and I love them so much. Like you can scale them down, make it look really cool and it was just And then I was having the problem where like if it got too close to the house it like went up on the the foundation like <laughs> it was really annoying and so i had to because i tried to like put it up as close as i could um but i thought it looked i thought it came out really nice and then i'm pretty sure i just put some flowers and bushes and grass to fill the area in and then i just call it a day on the outside i think and then we'll go inside um what to talk about now. I've kind of talked my way through about half of this speed build. We're about like 13 minutes in and I still got like 12 minutes to go. Um, what to talk about? I am off of work the next four days today and then three days after this I'm, I'm still off. So I'm gonna be doing a lot of like building and stuff and I want to do like build challenges like maybe like I've been really thinking about doing the every room is a different pack or every room is a different color kind of thing that sounds really fun um i don't have a camera or anything um i think i'm a little too nervous and anxious and self-conscious to show myself on screen at the, like right now um but hopefully in the future i'll be more comfortable more comfortable doing it um but I've also been really into like the little like the little details here and there like like that that bike right there making it look like they rode the bike and like putting dirt underneath it and you know putting dirt underneath all of the trees to make it look you know more wore out and yeah I think after we put this bush down we go inside yeah here we go and in my last speed build, the ocean build, the ocean view cottage, I did the interior of that one off camera because I wasn't going off of a floor plan. Like I had a picture of the house that I found on Google, but I didn't have a floor plan. And so I played around with that floor plan for like maybe an hour off camera before I found an actual like, before I actually found out what I wanted to do with it. And, and the the um the wallpaper that i use right here i usually wouldn't use something like that but 
since the outside of it was yellow, I kind of wanted to do like a yellowish inside and I'm not mad. Like it's so like per like the colors are so like they're dull, but they're like a good kind of dull, you know what I mean? Like it's not like popping out at your face. It's like easy on the eyes and it's like it's more like a it's more of like a cream color than a yellow honestly like <sighs> anyway <laughs> um what else to talk about um we still got a lot of you know time to kill before the end of this video i've been really trying to work on my decorating skills um I kind of practice a little bit off camera and I pull in ideas from like other people's videos and um and like I don't know how they like you know get stuff off the top of their head like how to decorate stuff like I wish I was that original like <laughs> um also here I am trying to find a curtain because finding a curtain for that one for that particular window was really annoying and and then fine then I then I, I did eventually put that big red one back but I made it a different color because it was really pretty um and I think we're about to put the door or move the door because you know I didn't want the the I didn't want the the kitchen. Yeah, there we go. I didn't want to. I didn't. I didn't want the table to be in the way of the door because I wanted it to be as functional as possible. Um, but I did place everything with move objects on. So if you like, download the house or play with the house or whatever, make sure you put move objects on. Um, I haven't play tested this yet, but I will at some point. <laughs> um. I've just been in the building mood. Um, I really want to do like a building new crest or something like that. I think Zen Simmer did one and where she just downloaded like lots and stuff. Um, I think I want to do that. Make like, and then like make some Sims to move in there and you know, make some families and whatnot. <sighs> um, here I am. Yeah, this little... I, I thought this was really pretty. Like, I found these stools. Like, I think that's custom content. And I just put, like, th like a little flower area for all your flowers and stuff. I thought, I thought it was really pretty. Like, I love how this little area turned out. It's like a little, just a little flower area for a little, you know, plant enthusiast. Um... I think this house only took me about two and a half hours to build, if I'm not wrong. Usually, the, the my houses in The Sims 3 usually only took me like maybe an hour or so to build, but that's because I was I was used to all the all the CC items and all the clutter items that I used, and I usually knew what I wanted. Um, but I'm still getting used to like all of the furniture and all of the clutter and where to find everything and so that's why it takes me a little bit longer but it does speed it up I, I speed it up by like seven or so um and so yeah it's um i think my last two speed builds were like 35 minutes long because i took so long and i built it in like segments excuse me oh my god I built it in like parts so I like I built the shell of the house into the outside one day and then I came back and decorated it the next day and like both times it took or both of the, both parts took like an hour or two and so like and so yeah that curtain I put back in the front and I match all the curtains there because I thought, I thought that looked super pretty um also the laundry day stuff pack I, I downloaded that pack for one item specifically, or two items specifically. That broom, that broom holder, and the rug. I had seen that in a couple of speed builds, and I was like, I have to have it. What is it from? Oh my god. And then I found it, and I was like, yes. <laughs> but last night when I went to buy it, 
Steam was being weird and wouldn't accept my payment, and I, apparently I'm not I'm not the only person that was having this problem. But I finally downloaded it, and I finally I finally bought it and downloaded it and all that good stuff, and so I've just been, you know, on a binging stuff pack and expansion pack kind of thing. Um, I want to get all of the expansion packs so I can have all the worlds. I think Realm of Magic, I really want to play in that world because I want to make like a fairy house. But I think my favorite part of The Sims 4 is how you can like scale things down or up. Like you can make things as small, like smaller and bigger. And I think that is so handy. Like you can fit more things on there, like on the shelves and stuff. Um, but yeah, I thought that I think that is like my favorite part of the Sims Four, is being able to like s scale things down. Um, sorry, my nose keeps itching, and I don't know why. Um, but yeah, I think this is I think this is it for the the living room. I think I just put a couple of like. Yeah, I put a couple of knickknacks there, and then that's the end of the... What am I going to do here? I think I put a chair, like a random chair here. Yeah. At this point, I was just like trying to get the, the, the build done, and I had a little trouble with the kitchen. Like, I didn't know what I wanted to do. And I bought the, um, the, the kitchen stuff pack? What, what pack is that called? The the cool kitchen stuff pack? No, that's not the one. It's a kitchen stuff pack. And you, like, you know what I'm talking about. I used the set from that. Um, but yeah, it's really... Um, I love how many, how many like decor things came with it. And if the... If the kitchen was bigger, I would have put more cabinets and stuff, but I didn't want to, like, fill it up. I wanted to have enough room on the walls for other items. Um, so I just put those two corner cabinets in, and then I call it a day. And then I just put some random decorations and stuff down. I clutter up the, um, the countertops. Um, I hope that your sims can still use it. Also, what I've been, I've been wanting to talk about something. I don't know if you guys remember a program or a CC item on The Sims 3 called OMSP. It's one more slot, please. But it basically, it's it, it doubles as a shelf that you can move around freely with if you have move objects on. And if you you like, you can clutter things up on the counter and put things where you want. But in The Sims 4, you don't need that. Like, you, there is an OMSP for The Sims 4, I think, but it's made, that, that, that one's mainly, mainly used to get things up on, like, very high surfaces. Even though you can, like, do the whole control 9 thing and raise it up, which I also think is really neat. Um, but in The Sims 4, you don't really, you don't need it, like, at all. You can just, like, move the counter out of the way and move it, like, freely. Like, what? Excuse me? When, the, when, why was this not a thing in The Sims 3? Like, it just, I, 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 and I keep finding, like, new things about The Sims 4 that I love. Like, why did I hate this game so much? Like, why did I not want to try this game so much? Um... But I have managed to talk my way through about this entire speed build, and there's only about a minute or two left. And so I think I'm going to leave you guys here with some music. And make sure to look out for my next video, and comment down below if you want to see a, a, a base game starter home, or if you want to see a build challenge. Because I'll do either. Just let me know in the comments below, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.